Hey everybody, we are going to go down and take another look at an ancient America site. And this is probably the loneliest step pyramid site in the United States as far as its location. No park, no museum, no nothing really here. This is the Kincaid Mounds. And there is one little observation platform here. And I'll show you a pic of that a little bit here. But if we back out, this is on the Ohio River by Paducah, Ledbetter, New Liberty, Brookport, uh, Metropolis is the city it is by in Illinois. Brookport is another town in Illinois that it is near. And then these towns across the river, Ledbetter, Woodlawn, Oakdale, Hendron, Paducah, these are all in Kentucky. There is no view on Google Earth or anything I can give you. Here is the county line right here. This is under contract by the Illinois State Historical Society. Crops are grown here. You cannot walk on this property. And then on the other side of this line in this county, it is private land and you are not allowed on this property, but the park extends, the city extended into this area. Now what I kind of noticed here are these. These are large step pyramids. These are very big. And we'll measure one of these here. Now in feet, that one is about 363 feet long. That is longer than a football field. We have one right here that is kind of lost. It kind of goes into this wooded area. But this one is said to be about 600 feet long, two football fields long, and these are about 35 feet high. So a tremendous amount of earth used here to make these mounds. There has been some deterioration and some other stuff that has gone on here, and I'm just going to show that briefly. Now, flooding has been brought up in a few of these mound videos, but here you can see about seven years ago, this area was inundated by floodwaters, and it's pretty amazing these mounds are in the condition they still are because they have probably endured quite a few floods over a thousand years of history. That's my opinion. I will leave the link to this video below. Here is a diagram of the ancient city and the mounds that were here at one time. A main plaza, mounds here, ceremonial center, a palisade wall entirely around it. And then this is the line between Massac and Polk County. Now here is a website I will leave below, but it has some uh, information on the Kincaid Mounds. It has some views from that observational platform. So you get a good idea of what these mounds look like. But they have some uh, different information on here. They have some artifacts that were found, some basic history of the place. So there is a tiny bit of information here, and it's found on this little observation platform down in this part of the park. But that'll give you a good look at what that entails right there. Now, there are a few videos on YouTube about the Kincaid Mounds, and there are some websites, and there is some information. So you can find some information on this, but there is no park here. Here is an old pick. Seems the Kincaid family who owned this property a long time ago had a house on top of one of the large platform mounds here. Now, the University of Chicago did excavation at the site here in the late 1930s and early 1940s, and you can still see some evidence of that from overhead views. But it says they documented prehistory in the Kincaid area stretching back thousands of years into what is known as the Archaic Period from 8,000 to 2,000 BC. It says the Chicago crew recognizes period as the Faulkner component, which was described as a pre-pottery culture. This is Wikipedia, and I normally don't use Wikipedia, but they actually had some pretty good information on the excavation work here and just questions on what they found and dating periods. And it says here, excavations prior to the construction of an informational kiosk and viewing platform in 2003 revealed six bomber phase pit features dating to 250 BC to one of the current era. One of the pits contained the intentionally buried remains of a small domestic dog, a rare find for the area. And that is about the sixth site now where I have read about dogs being buried at these ancient sites. So these flat top step pyramids are about a thousand years old and then you have other remains dating to 2,000 years ago and then you have evidence of people living here 
maybe eight, 9,000 years ago. So a lot of questions and further work should be done here. Maybe they weren't building structures, but then later cultures came in, lived at the same site, and then built upon and around previous cultures. And that appears to be what happened at the Kincaid Mounds. And if I just zoom in here, I just want to show you this. I think it was in 1938 or 9, University of Chicago did work here. And they cleaved open this mound here and they never repaired it. And you can still see evidence of that excavation work in that mound here. But I'm kind of surprised these mounds are in that good a shape still after enduring God knows how many floods. Now I did see some pics of people wearing Southern Illinois shirts doing excavation work here. And it seems they were granted permission to do archeological work here. The Salukis from Southern Illinois it says, work this summer by archaeologists at Southern Illinois University Carbondale suggests a well-known prehistoric mound site dating back nearly 1,000 years is larger and possibly more complex than originally believed. The investigation at Kincaid Mound shows a new prehistoric platform mound between 250 and 300 yards outside of the known defensive walls around the site. Southern Illinois University students participating in an annual eight-week field school by the University's Department of Anthropology and Center for Archaeological Investigation focused on excavating the previously undefined West Mound area, where geo geophysical studies in November also indicated the possible existence of numerous houses buried under alluvium. And alluvium is just flood deposit, and there probably is a lot of flood deposit, really masking what these platform mounds look like in their original size and shape. No park no guards, no nothing. So this next website did not surprise me. It says native burial mounds vandalized in Southern Illinois. It says, but this is Indian country today and I will leave the link below. But it says native burial grounds vandalized in Southern Illinois, impossible attempt to steal grave goods. The Evansville Courier and Press is reporting that the Illinois Historic Preservation Agency and the Massac County Sheriff's Department are investigating the recent looting and ATV or truck damage at Kincaid Mounds. The mounds are a series of prehistoric American Indian burial mounds in rural Pope in Massac County. It says small holes were dug into one of the burial mounds by one or more people looking for what are known as grave goods, items that were buried along with the dead. The mounds consist of 105 acres that have been designated a National Historic Landmark and the site is on the National Register of Historic Places of the United States. They are believed to be between 1,000 and 700 years old. And that's pretty conservative, if you ask me. Kincaid Mounds consists of nine mounds, and actually, originally, I think there was about 20, which include burial mounds and a large platform mounds and portions of a village site. The area represents the earliest part of Southern Illinois to develop intensive, large-scale agriculture. And this area... But that article right there did not surprise me a lot. This area is not guarded or secured in any way, shape, or form, it seems. So other places around the United States, I mentioned them in Google Earth videos. In Egypt, you can see where people are digging for treasure. Well, it doesn't seem to be any different in the United States at places where people buried their dead a long time ago. People today are looking for valuable goods that were buried along with the dead. Here is another artist rendition of what this place looked like. This comes from the area of the country down here, and this is a map of the mound site cities in the ancient United States. And this area is known in some circles as Little Egypt, and of course Cairo is right in this area. But these are the Kincaid mounds, and I didn't concentrate a lot on what was found here because I don't think proper archaeological research as far as skeletons and really digging into these mounds has ever taken place. If you have any information on things that were found here, please leave it. I kind of concentrate on different things in each of these videos, but I couldn't help but be fascinated by that account of a mound that was 325 yards long, found west of the park. That is three football fields long. That is mammoth. I'm not sure where they are talking about. I see different areas that could be possibly ancient mound sites, but this is a good place if you like to look at Google Earth just to poke around. But, but fairly recent research of some hills under these trees here, they have been found out to be burial mounds. So the amount of people living here and the amount of time that people actually inhabited this site is all up for grabs.
that is a look at the Kincaid mounds. All these places are treated differently. It's always interesting when you first zoom in here on Google Earth what you will find. This one kind of surprised me. Big structures, no park, no nothing. One observation platform, but that's another look at an ancient America site. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.